and I'd like to welcome you all to our brand new advanced tech training for today. And I'll be covering some useful everyday apps that you all can take advantage of your iPad. There may be a part two of this session. So I hope you all enjoy and learn something new. Uh, I'm gonna read our disclaimer before we get started. The Wild Tech DC Senior iPad program, its owners and presenters offer technical assistance, virtual help, well-being information designed for educational purposes only. You should not rely on the information, any applications or topics made by Wild Tech, including but not limited to mobile device applications and any social media pages maintained by Wild Tech, its owners or presenters as a substitute for professional medical advice diagnosis, treatment, or legal advice. Thank you so much for letting me read the disclaimer. If you cannot see me, hear me, or see the screen, please let me know in the chat, and I would appreciate that. I always recommend that you have some kind of notes next to you so you can record some information and review it for later. And as always, let's make sure our TVs and cell phones are silenced to give others, and most importantly, ourselves, the most immersive experience. Okay, thank you so much. As always, to keep our meetings organized and avoid speaking over each other, I just ask that you use the raise hand feature. You can find it in the toolbar. Whether your toolbar is at the top or the bottom, you can access it during and or at the end of each session, you'll have the opportunity to ask questions using this feature. So again, if your toolbar is still at the top, just hit more and then raise hand. Or if your toolbar is at the bottom, all you have to do is hit reactions and then tap on raise hand. So I want everyone in Zoom to please raise their hand. And as I always say, you guys are the creme de la creme of the program for coming on and wanted to learn more about your iPad. So I want to see a lot of hands. And if you're ready to learn about some useful everyday apps, if you're excited, if you're saying happy Friday or thinking that, or you're going to enjoy your weekend, you're going to have a great day today, please raise your hand in Zoom especially our newcomers on today. Again, thank you. If this is your first time attending an advanced training, thanks so much for joining us. Hope you learned something new. And this is a brand new session. So again, thanks so much for joining. Um, I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have about 17 hands up. So again, especially our newcomers, please make sure you utilize and take advantage of the raise hand feature if you ever have a question, comment, concern. You all can hit lower at the bottom to lower your hand. So again, what, don't forget, once you're called on, um, don't forget to lower your hand. And once uh, we answer your question, don't forget to mute yourself as well. So that way we can hear from everyone as clearly as possible. Thank you, thank you. And if you would like to communicate with others non-verbally, the chat is a great way to share a greeting, ask a question, uh, send a photo, um, anything you'd like really in the Zoom chat. Again, if your toolbar is at the top, you can hit more and then chat, and then you can access the meeting chat window. But if your toolbar is at the bottom, all you have to do is tap on chat. And then this uh, a similar window will appear as well. So I want everyone in Zoom to please send a message in the chat. You tap where it says tap here to chat. No matter which one it is, you type your message in and then you send it using the blue button on the right hand side. So again, I want everyone in Zoom to please raise their hand. Well, I'm sorry, and use the chat, sorry, thank you. I want everyone in Zoom to please use the chat. So if I hit chat right here, I hit tap here to chat and I'm gonna write hello. And because today is roller coaster day, I'm gonna use what we learned in module five to search for a roller coaster emoji, because <laughs> today is roller coaster day. Yes, um, please, uh, yep. Thank you for your hellos and your good mornings and have a great weekend. Again, you can share anything that you would like. You can even share a photo in Zoom by hitting the plus sign next to tap here to chat. And then I can hit photo and add any photo from my photos app. So this was some beautiful flowers someone shared. This is someone shared this image as well that I selected. This was from our advanced session. This was from our daily art app as well. So you can add one or more photos in the Zoom chat if you'd like as well. You can save any photo that someone shares. So like Miss Wilda's that she shared, love it. I can hold it with my finger and then hit save image. So I just saved that image to my photos app on my iPad. So if you wanted to save any of the pictures that I shared, again, you hold it 
and then you can hit save image. You can also just hold any image or any image, any chat, any message and reply to that message. So again, I'm replying to Miss Maria's message or to send her a smiley face <laughs> and that's a reply for that, um, for that chat, okay? So again, it's, yeah, just like many of you have already done, please welcome our newcomers on today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like uh, again, Miss Yolanda, Miss Vivian, we have two Vivians now in our in our uh, uh, in our Zoom today. Thank you so much for joining us, and and again our newcomers. That you know, uh, thank you so much for joining and wanting to learn more. Thank you, appreciate it um, as well. Again in the chat, yep. Oh yeah, tomorrow is Chuck Brown Day. <laughs> thank you for reminding us, Ivana. I appreciate that. But yep, yeah, hello, good morning. Thanks so much for your image, Mr. Harold. I just saved it. Love it, thank you. And please continue to utilize the chat throughout the session today for any questions, comments, concerns, anything you'd like to share, anything, any comments, please share it in the chat. I would also love if you could share what were your favorite Zoom sessions this week and why in the chat as well. Uh, we had our advanced session on creating a Zoom account. We had our modules this week. We had our conversation on SNAP benefits with the legal counsel. We talked about mental health and wellness yesterday with Liz and Tori. We have a session this morning. I know we have our lunch club and our 1.30, but if you could share your favorites that you've attended so far this week in the chat and why, I love to uh, shout them out throughout the uh, session today. Um, I liked the legal counsel and I really liked Tori as well. So those are my highlights myself um, for now. <laughs> so please share your favorites in the chat. And again, I'd like to shout them out. So let's go on to our agenda for today. Thank you for sharing this world, I appreciate that. We're gonna cover the impact of apps and technology. We'll be watching some videos together. We'll be doing an app showcase. Uh, so everything from communication apps to entertainment to billing, every, everything in between, and just a general app store showcase as well. And last but not least, we're gonna have our overview and discussion and talk about how apps in general can positively impact your life. Again, I really look forward to the session today. Look forward to hearing a lot of responses and comments about our session today. So again, thank you so much for joining. So first up, we're gonna be looking at the impact of apps and, and we'll be doing that through watching some videos. So I like to start very general and kind of go into a little more specific. So again, and when you think of apps, we think of technology. So we have to know what technology is before we know what an app is or explore that. So I, this video does a really good job. I'm talking about what is technology and what do we mean by that term? I hope you learned something new and enjoy the video. Today, we are going to answer the question, what is technology? When you think of technology, what do you think of? A telephone, a camera, but what about a table or a chair? Would you consider that technology? Let's investigate to find out. In the dictionary, technologies are things created by humans that can make our lives easier or solve problems. All humans have basic needs, such as getting water and food and having a shelter. Technology is a way to make this easier. Instead of going down to the lake to get water, Humans invented a way to bring it straight to our homes with indoor plumbing. Some technologies have wires and plug into the wall, like microphones. Microphones help to record sound. Laptops help us get information, type papers, talk to friends, and much more. But some technologies do not have wires at all. Umbrellas help to keep us dry in the rain, and a lock helps to keep our things safe. A pencil helps us write down information and a fork helps us to eat food. So let's go back to our first question. Is a chair and a table a technology? Created using Powtoon. Yeah, so that is what is technology. So a lot of people think of it as just like computers and in machines, but technology is anything that's created by humans that makes it easier to solve problems. So again, it's just good to think of technology in that way. We all use technology in our daily lives 
it's just important to recognize what we do that is considered as technology and how we utilize it. Um, next up is the impact of technology on our lives. So we learned what is it, and but what's the actual impact of technology in our lives? How does technology make our lives easier? I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Smart Kids! Arthurius and Luna in Programming Our World. Why does this thing always break down? We all make mistakes, Arthurius. No one's perfect, not even a computer. But technology should make life easier, shouldn't it? Yes, and it does. Some would argue technology has improved our lives by making it quicker to complete daily tasks. This gives us more time to do the things we enjoy. How so? Today, we can grow food and wash our clothes faster than ever. People use the extra time to focus on important things, like spending time with their family. Technology has made it easier for everyone to connect with loved ones all over the world. You're right. This device has made it easier to call for help during a battle. That's just the half of it. With the advancement of technology, we can save lives and solve some of the world's biggest problems. Gee, I never thought of it that way. How has technology impacted your life, Arthurius? I guess it has made learning new things easier. How so? When I have a question about something, I use the internet to find my answer. That's true. The world is always evolving, and technology is a tool that has helped us advance in society. It can inspire others to reach for the stars and open up new doors for opportunities. Wow! I understand now. Computers really are our friends. Smart kid! So again, that is the impact of technology in our lives, and they gave some tips is utilize the internet to ask a question. If you ever have a question that you want answered, technology is there to help out. Our next video is gonna be talking about some benefits of mobile apps. So actually talking about the apps themselves and how they benefit us in our daily lives. I hope you enjoy the video and learn something new. As smartphones reach near ubiquity, business owners are realizing the value of a mobile app. Now is the time to build one. Currently, 90% of Australians between 18 and 50 own a smartphone, yet less than one quarter of businesses have a mobile app. Three years ago, a business might have seen 10% of its total web traffic coming from mobile, but now it's closer to 70%. Within the next couple of years, most businesses will consider building a mobile app. So, aside from popular demand, why create an app? Increase sales. Being visible to customers at all times is the best way to boost sales. A good mobile app can facilitate quick checkout for a purchase, leading to a sales increase. Apps can offer a more convenient way to browse and shop, allowing customers to make purchases from anywhere. Improve stickiness. An installed app can create a direct marketing channel, offering easily accessible information right at their fingertips. Mobile apps are better suited for user retention and re-engaging with clients than just a responsive website. It's always on your home screen and always logged in. Apps also allow companies to notify their customers about new deals, products, events, and so on, pulling them back into the app. Compete in a specific market. If customer-facing businesses want to compete with others in their market, they must hold a strong presence on mobile devices. The more often you can get customers interacting with your app, the more likely they'll be to buy your product or service. In advertising, this is called the effective frequency. The following elements are the most valuable to include in mobile apps. Push notifications to allow businesses to keep close contact with news, updates, and deals. Social networking to get your users to share, which is essentially free advertising. Personalization so users can configure their notifications and favorites. Hi, I'm Ulysses from SSW. It's important to remember that a mobile app is not the same as a mobile-friendly website, and many unique features within your app can be better developed and more engaging than web elements. Creating an app now. Yeah. So again, those are some benefits of, of apps in general. They help um, make the experience more user-friendly. Um, it's very easy to open an app and, and get updates regarding um, that particular information. 
and it's really easy just to be able to utilize and open them. So thanks so much for watching that video. And last but not least for our videos, we're gonna be uh, listening and looking at the impact of mobile apps on everyday life. I hope you enjoy and learn something new. Welcome to our in-depth exploration of the impact of mobile apps on everyday life. This two minute journey, we will delve deeper into how mobile apps have transformed various aspects of our daily routines. Let's dive right in. Daily commute. Imagine your daily commute, a task that was once a chore has been completely redefined. With the advent of ride sharing apps like Uber and Lyft, you can summon a ride with just a few taps on your smartphone. No more standing in the rain, waving for a taxi, or fumbling with cash. This convenience is not only a time saver but also a stress reducer. Grocery shopping. Mobile apps haven't spared our grocery shopping either. Take Instacart, for example. It's an app that connects you to your favorite local grocery stores. You can browse, select, and pay for your groceries all from your phone. Then, a personal shopper does the legwork for you, and your items are delivered right to your doorstep. This isn't just about convenience, it's a game changer for those with limited mobility or busy schedules. Language learning. Now, let's talk about education. Mobile apps have democratized language learning. Duolingo, for instance, offers free language courses in over 30 languages. It turns language acquisition into a fun and accessible game. People from all over the world can now learn a new language at their own pace and on their terms, promoting cross-cultural understanding. Healthcare In the realm of healthcare, mobile apps have become virtual health assistants. Consider WebMD, a reliable source of medical information. It helps individuals access information about symptoms, conditions, and treatments. This empowers users to make informed decisions about their health and consult with medical professionals more effectively. Banking. Managing your finances has never been more secure and convenient. Mobile banking apps like Chase, Wells Fargo, and Bank of America allow you to check balances, pay bills, transfer funds, and even invest on the go. With the power of mobile apps, you have complete control over your financial life, and it's all in the palm of your hand. Social connections. Social connections have also undergone a revolution thanks to apps like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. These platforms not only keep us connected with friends and family, but also enable us to engage with the global community. Whether you're sharing life updates, news articles, or supporting social causes, these apps have bridged geographical boundaries. Entertainment. Our entertainment choices have expanded exponentially with streaming apps like Netflix and YouTube. These platforms offer a vast array of content, from movies and documentaries to DIY tutorials and vlogs. It's not just entertainment, it's a cultural shift in how we consume media, catering to our diverse taste and interests. As you've witnessed, mobile apps have woven themselves seamlessly into the fabric of our lives. They've enhanced convenience, widened horizons, and brought us closer together in ways we could only dream of. So, the next time you order groceries, learn a language, or catch up with friends online, remember the profound impact these apps have had on our everyday existence. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us. Stay tuned for more insights into the ever-evolving digital landscape. And thank you all so much for watching our videos for today. So again, as you can see, mobile apps can really have a great impact on your everyday life and tasks. So we're gonna be covering some of those apps, some that were mentioned in the video, some that weren't. And again, just showcase some of the type of apps that you can take advantage of. So I look forward to our showcase. So first up, we have some cell phone apps. So um, if you want to pay your cell phone bill or check the status of um, you know, your phone company, et cetera, uh, you can utilize some of these different apps. So what, whatever your provider is, I would search that in the app store and see what options are there. So again, the app store is the main way that you download apps on your device. It's a blue icon, it has a white A in it. This is the app store. It allows you to download any of the two plus million apps that are here in the app store. So um, if you go to, again, self, I wrote it as cell phone apps, but uh, let's see, let's see. There's many different cell phone providers. So one example is T-Mobile. So if I go to the app store, 
I hit the search and I hit it again, I can then type in again, the name or type of app that you want to download. So there's T-Mobile and there you go. There's the T-Mobile app at the top right. Again, if I were to download it, so of course I would you know, sign in or whatever for your, for your cell phone provider. And it shows you again, different things that you can do um, with the T-Mobile app. You can manage your accounts, pay bills, shop devices, um, and other things as well. So this is the T-Mobile app. Uh, if you have AT&T, it's called the My AT&T app. Or you can write my, and it's right here, manage your AT&T accounts. You can do that as well. And as, and as well, there is My Verizon. So whether you have a cell phone data or a cell plan, or they have Wi-Fi through these different providers as well, um, it's really great just to be able to look at your information and pay that and pay that bill straight from your iPad or from your device as well. There goes the Verizon one, so my Verizon. So any um, cell phone provider that you have, see if there's a corresponding app to it. So that way, again, you can pay your bill or uh, manage your account, et cetera, uh, with, um, with your app. So again, there's uh, cell phone apps such as T-Mobile, my at and and my Verizon. So of course there's other apps, so please take advantage of those. But if you would like to take advantage of a cell phone app to pay your bill or manage your account, whether it's one of these or another one that you have, please raise your hand. If you want to use an app to look at your cell phone bill and manage your account, um, if you have done that before, um, or if you want to, again, take advantage of these different kind of apps, the cell phone apps, please raise your hand in Zoom. Again, it's really convenient just to be able to pay that bill, look at that account, manage that account straight from your device. So thank you. Again, if you see your provider or if you want to search for it in the app store and see what options come up, you certainly can. And uh, thanks so much. I see we have about six, seven hands. Wow, great. I love it. Again, you can pay your bill straight from your device. So it makes it very, very easy. Thank you. You all can hit lower to lower your hand. We had about eight to nine hands. Thank you so much. Our next kind of apps that they mentioned the video as well is streaming apps. So um, what I will say is we, we did streaming right after cell phone apps because a lot of cell plans actually have a, a discount for many streaming apps. So um, I would highly recommend that you check that out. So like uh, T-Mobile, they have streaming perks where you get a reduced cost or a free trial for so, so many months and, you, and then you have a reduced cost for that particular app. So um, please check out your cell plan to see if they provide it. I know T-Mobile does. So uh, with T-Mobile, I'm able to uh, take advantage of the apps that you see on the screen, which is very really nice. Other ones as well, but that I don't. But uh, these are some of the main paid streaming apps you can take advantage of. So everything from Netflix. And if you just search for Netflix here in the App Store. And there's the app right here. There are... Preview, so like membership, there's uh, games in Netflix that you can play. There's a lot of different entertainment, like TV shows, movies. You can uh, download episodes if you want, uh, or movies. You can have a list. You can customize your different profiles as well. And there's a lot of different programming um, that's there. They have award-winning series, movies, and documentaries. And of course, Netflix is a month-to-month -month subscription. So try to look to see if your cell phone provider offers a reduced cost membership for any of the apps that we talk about today. So there's Netflix, here's Hulu that you can take advantage of. I love Hulu myself, different uh, options that you can have, uh, many different types of media. There's a preview of the app. So this is what your app will look like when you open it. Uh, you have your TV shows, your movies, your sports. This is what the app looks like when you're in it even live TV as well that you have an option for that you can take advantage of. And I love the Hulu app. I love the originals that they have and the different um, options that were provided. So here's Hulu. And then uh, last but not least, uh, for our different streaming apps, we have a Disney Plus. 
So again, um, there are many, 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 many different streaming apps. It's all about seeing what different options that you have. Here's Disney Plus, Unlimited Entertainment. And again, there are some different options that you have. So the streaming home of many of your favorite um, different shows and movies. So everything from Disney to Pixar to Marvel to uh, Star Wars to National Geographic. That's what Disney Plus uh, offers a lot. So I, again, I love the different selection here. So please make sure you take advantage. So there's unlimited entertainment, always something new to discover. Um, so please also take advantage of the uh, Disney Plus app. There are many other streaming services. I mentioned these because we have not actually mentioned these in our sessions. We've talked about some free streaming apps before. I recommend you check that uh, video on our YouTube channel. But uh, these, again, streaming apps, you don't have to uh, have cable per se anymore because that's not the only option. You can utilize these different streaming apps to uh, take advantage of. So I hope you like these different apps. And again, make sure you look at your cell phone provider or contact them or see in your app if they offer different discounts for some of these apps. If you like streaming apps, if you've utilized Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus or any other streaming apps before, if you want to check these out more after seeing today's presentation, if you like these different streaming apps and the different things that they offer, please raise your hand in Zoom. Yeah, different streaming apps. There are many other ones besides these three, some paid, some that are free. Um, so I would, again, try to check that such streaming services video on our YouTube channel. And uh, again, just to check out these uh, different uh, options that you have. So thank you. We have about five, six hands. I really appreciate that. And make sure to take advantage of some streaming apps on your iPad. So thank you. You all can hit lower. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, our next kind of apps that the video also mentioned were banking apps. So yes, you can look up your, uh, you know, your information, you know, um, your account, uh, anything with uh, your banking app. So you don't have to go to the bank to look at your, look up your balance or um, like invest in the go, as they said, et cetera. Uh, <laughs> so please make sure you take advantage of these different apps. I know P for PNC, I um, missed it right here. But again, there's Chase. Uh, you can take advantage of Chase. If you have Chase as your bank, you can type in Chase. Any bank, just type it in the search bar and see if it comes up. So there. There's Chase Mobile you can take advantage of. If you have PNC, just type in PNC. There you go, PNC Mobile Banking. Again, pretty self-explanatory. You can go in the app and adjust things and transfer money, et cetera, if you want. And then there's also Wells Fargo. If you have Wells Fargo, right here at the top right, Wells Fargo Mobile. Um, Capital One Mobile, there's there's just many different options. Look, they even have a put a bank in your pocket, a collection in the app store. So look at that. If you have USAA, Navy Federal, PNC, a uh, AMX, uh, Wells Fargo, Discover, Ally, Bank of America, Chase, Capital One Mobile, even something like Cash App, you know, you can get Cash App if you've heard of that on your iPad to be able to use that as a uh, bank or even uh, things like Venmo where you can send money to others, same thing like Cash App or PayPal or even mobile banks like Chime. There are so many different options for mobile apps regards to banking. So I hope that you take advantage. Again, it's so much easier where I can just do, do a click here or there and I'm able to look at my information in case I need to look at it very quickly. So. If you use a banking app or if you want to utilize one um, after seeing this uh, slide and a session, and if you recognize you're one of the banks that I had mentioned, or if you uh, have already taken advantage of that app, please raise your hand in Zoom. But again, there are banking apps available as well. Why go to the bank to look up your information than just downloading a simple app and able to uh, um, adjust or maneuver your account so much easier. So thank you. That was about seven, eight hands. Again, there are many different kind of banking apps. So please take advantage of yours if it's available. So thank you. Y'all can hit lower at the bottom. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, there are also Wi-Fi apps as well. One of the main ones here in the DC area is Xfinity. 
but there's also other ones like Starry, et cetera. So it's all about just knowing if you have Wi-Fi in your home, same thing, uh, same thing applies. Just like with the, with the cell phone apps or the banking apps, you can use the app to pay your bill, adjust your account, manage your account, et cetera. So these are just two examples. If I go to the app store on my device, again, I hit the search and I type in again the name or type of app that I want to download. So there's Xfinity. Um, yeah, I utilize Xfinity. So mine, it says open, but you would just, again, get the app so you can download it, et cetera. Just follow the steps. Um, so there's Xfinity. There's also Starry Internet. That's quite popular in DC as well. Um, so here you go, Starry Internet right here. Again, same thing, you can manage your account. And there are other Wi-Fi networks out there as well. None that come to my head right as of this moment, but I know that like T-Mobile, they also offer Wi-Fi, um, a gateway. Um, Xfinity does the same thing, uh, of course, with the cell phone plan. So some of the apps we talked about may be a cell phone and a, a Wi-Fi app because it may offer both. So whatever app that, you, you know, or internet service that you use, make sure you look at the, uh, the app store and see if you can find it. If you uh, utilize an app to adjust your Wi-Fi, manage your account, um, et cetera, if you have Xfinity, if you want to take advantage of the Xfinity app, you have Starry, if you have another internet app, please raise your hand in Zoom. And if you have uh, the Xfinity app, if you have a Wi-Fi app, if you manage your account online, or if you want to utilize the app to do so versus going on the internet, et cetera, please raise your hand in Zoom. And there are many different kinds of networks, et cetera, different providers. So it's all about seeing if there is an option for that. So thank you. Wow, nine, 10 hands. I appreciate that. Hopefully you all can take advantage of some of these different apps. And um, last for specifically, but not least, are some social media apps, of course. Um, just like the video mentioned, uh, there are many different kinds of social media that you can take advantage of. Some that are already downloaded on, on, your, on your device, like Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly known as Twitter. So again, these different apps. If you have a Facebook, if you have an Instagram, if you use X, or, uh, formerly known as Twitter, if you use some other social media apps, you can take advantage of them on the iPad. That is one of the main um, kind of categories for apps on any Apple device, social media apps. So uh, everything from if I type in Facebook, again, Facebook is already already downloaded onto your iPad. There's Facebook, there's Messenger. Again, if you want to send messages through Facebook, you have to have the Messenger app as well. There's Instagram. Um, if I type in the word X, there is formerly known as Twitter right here. Um, there's also some other social media uh, um, platforms that I like. I love Reddit. Um, very informational YouTube, even though that's a video app, and I highly recommend that you check out YouTube. That's how you see our videos and our channel. Uh, YouTube is also kind of like a social media kind of app in the same way because of the shorts and the different community options as well. Um, there's TikTok that you can take advantage of. Uh, many different other uh, social media platforms that you can use. So everything from Pinterest to Tumblr to LinkedIn to uh, uh, Twitch. That's a live streaming app as well. So there are many other options. I've heard of Pinterest a lot. I've used it a little bit um, to get inspiration. So I really like these different social media apps. If you like Facebook, Instagram, X, if you like another social media app, if you've used them before on your iPad, or if you want to use them, please raise your hand in Zoom. And if you've used them before, if you want to use them more, again, there's pretty much an app for not anything, but just try to please look at the app store and see what options there are. Again, there's over 2 million apps. So if you think of it, it's probably on there already and you can take advantage of it. So wow, 13 hands, thank you. I know social media is very, very popular. So um, thank you so much for your responses and such. Thank you. Uh, hopefully you all can take advantage of some of these social media apps to stay connected. You all can hit lower at the bottom, thank you. And uh, before we move on to our overview and discussion, I just want to go over the App Store just very quickly. So when you go into the App Store, there's just so much information that you have access to. Your Today section has the biggest apps and games and the app of the day or the game of the day, today's 
biggest events in games. Um, yeah, ready for some action, discover our favorite. So there's the game of the day, app of the day, hot this week, building amazing worlds, playing with the controller, running games, uh, leveling up games, puzzle games, match three games, cooking apps for you, social media, et cetera. So just the today section has a lot of very popular apps. You have your games section. Um, I, wanna, I wanted to highlight some games here uh, that you can take advantage of. I love the different popular games, what's hot right now, more games that you may like, explore more games for you. The best in game, the biggest updates, the best new games. There's just so much to take advantage of, you know, with, with games and uh, these different apps, right? So it's all good to take advantage of. But I recommend using the categories here at the top. Like, I love puzzle games. Look at different puzzle games available that you can take advantage of. I love adventure games. I love card games. I love trivia games. I love board games. I love word games all different kinds of games that you can take advantage of here. Um, I, of course, suggest things like uh, Angry Birds is a great game. It's like a physics simulation game, very popular since uh, for a long time, uh, even like 20, 2009, 2008, 2010. Angry Birds, I recommend that game. It's a lot of fun for that physics simulation. There's a, other, another popular game called Cut the Rope that I would take advantage of. Um, I love this game. There are many different versions of it where you're basically trying to have um, the character eat the candy in some way, shape, or form. So this is like a video of the game, right? Where you have to literally cut the rope and uh, you're able to yeah, play each level to get each candy to the little monster. <laughs> and, it's so, and it's so cool. Again, uh, another physics kind of game. I really like these type of games as well. So uh, that is just, you know, games. Please make sure you check out this category and the section for any different kind of games that you like. And then the apps section right here, again, different kind of apps. So look, uh, streaming apps, uh, food apps, learning apps, education apps, there's finance, there's social media, there's magazines and newspapers, graphics and design, there's education, there's uh, food and drink, there's weather apps that you can take advantage of, kids apps, business apps, news apps. There is just, you know, everything. The world is your oyster, as I always say. So, like, must-have apps, things like YouTube, uh, let's see, um, some streaming apps. Uh, we've talked about Duolingo in the past. Um many different apps that you can take advantage of. Uh, some incredible iPad apps like the ESPN app, Artset 4 we've covered in the past, um, Microsoft Word, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal. Here are some top free apps like Google Chrome or Canva that we talked about, some education apps or games for kids, some streaming apps back to school. It's back to school season, right? So uh, you can take advantage of some of these apps, fitness apps, curiosity apps. Wow. So there's just so many things to take advantage of. Um, I recommend you get the Petco app. You know, you can pay your electricity again without having to write a check, et cetera. You can do so with Petco. There's also My Washington Gas. There's a Washington Gas app that you can take advantage of. Um, so, yeah, the Petco app, uh, the Washington Gas app, et cetera. There's also different shopping apps like H&M or Ikea. You can go to Walmart or Target that we've talked about in the past. Um, wow, anything else for me to mention? Uh, YouTube, if you have Amazon Prime, I, re I recommend you check out Amazon Prime Video. That's also another streaming app that you can take advantage of. There's Amazon Prime Video right there. Um, Amazon Shopping. So throughout the session today, as you can see, we covered many, 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 many different types of apps. So it's all about exploring the app store and just thinking, what do you do in your daily life and see if there's an app for it. If you pay your electric, look for the electric app. If you pay for your Wi-Fi, you pay for your Wi-Fi app. If you use social media, you find the social media app, et cetera. So what I, again, with the app store, there are over two plus million apps. And if you think of an idea, it's probably in some way, shape or form already an app. And again, it just makes things so, so much easier. I don't have to cut a check or go anywhere to pay my bills or to, 
um, take advantage of the streaming or the different services. It's all right from here from my iPad. So it makes it very easy and convenient, just like the video said, um, for everyday tasks. So today we went over some videos in regards to technology and different apps, um, how technology and apps have benefited our lives and uh, really have made an impact on our day-to-day -day functions and, and interactions, right? So again, we covered the impact of apps and technology um, in our lives. We also covered some different kinds of apps to take advantage of, like cell phone apps, streaming apps, banking apps, Wi-Fi apps, social media apps, and some other ones that uh, were mentioned throughout. But again, it's all about looking at the app store and seeing what apps are out there and what you can take advantage of. So at this point, we're gonna have an overview and discussion before we end for today. So any comments, any feedback for today, anything you'd like to share, um, this is the time to do so by raising your hand. So we have two kind of sets of questions. One is what is one new fact that you learned today? And which of the uh, uh, highlighted apps are you interested in trying out or just in general? And two, how can apps in general have a positive impact on your daily life? And how has technology assisted you in your life and um, as well? So either one or both of the questions or just any comments for today, we'd love to hear from as many of you as possible um, before we end for today. So please raise your hand. If you would like to share a question, a comment, a thought, et cetera, anything you like. But I really enjoyed creating today's session. It's quite general, but it's just good to have that general information. So that way you can really take the time to explore the different apps and, and learn how to uh, utilize them. But thank you. We have four or five hands up so far. So thank you. Um, but just, of course, keep the time in mind. But I want to let's uh, love to see as many hands as possible. So first up is Ms. Lawson. I uh, hope you're well. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Oh, yes, it's a great session. I'm paranoid about my information, so I don't use apps that much. But my question is, uh, what kind of information do they capture? Like if you use the McDonald's app, they advertise about a free this or that if you go to the app. So if you go there, do they capture your email address or your just your name and number or whatever and do they sell it how do you find that out so i mean each app is thank you for the question first though miss lawson each app is going to be a little different in what they require so you know um apps uh just like with those billing apps of course you have to uh input you know the information to pay for that particular bill or that particular service um some apps are you know don't require as much or don't require a payment but some may require an email or a phone number, et cetera. So I wouldn't, you know, be too not too concerned about the safety part. Again, if it's something that you're not comfortable with, of course that's okay. But again, it does just make things so much easier. I don't have to go to the bank to pay my bill or go whatever to do that. I can just do that straight from my phone or my device um, as well. Uh, so each app is gonna be a little different, but I highly, highly recommend that you check the information out. Again, apps that we, we cover in, we, talk about module five and one, et cetera, about security apps are very secure um, in regards to user data. So if it asks for anything, that means it's 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 required to, to be able to do. If you wanna pay your bill, you have to input your uh, um, information. Like when I pay for my T-Mobile, I go to my T-Mobile app on my device and um, I can just look at it and see that everything is straight. I have mine on auto pay, so I don't have to worry about you know, physically going and paying, but I can just check my account that it does. So again, with different apps and different technologies, it makes things very much easier than having to physically do them with the app. But I implore you to try some of those out. You don't have to try everything out at once, but try the ones that you feel would be most convenient for you. But try them out, okay? Okay, okay, because I just like free stuff, but I'm scared to get on there. But thank you. Great session no. as usual. Thank you, Miss Carolyn. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for muting yourself and lowering your hand. I appreciate that. Just so that way we can hear from everyone. Thank you so much. Um, next up is Mr. Harold. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, what do you say for today? Good morning, Alex. And a wonderful mm -hmm. session today. Uh, 
using the apps have, has really helped all of America. I know I can now get a taxi without standing out there and they just drive right by me, mm-hmm. no matter what part mm-hmm. of town I'm in. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have to be followed around in department stores or retail shops when people think you might be doing something untoward. You can just use your app and have your stuff delivered to your house. There are many, many examples I could give, but it has helped yes. all of America in that kind of way that we don't have, uh, we don't have to look at people to see them and <laughs> have our prejudices affect how we think about them. So you can just get your ride now, you can just get your food now, whatever it is that you might want to do. So I think it's been very helpful for our society. Thank oh, it you. sure has. That that taxi bit sure is. I mean, you could just call it Uber and, you know, it, it just gives another option. You know, options are so important nowadays. So, uh, oh, yeah, yeah I, I, I like the fact that, you know, you can go in the store if you want to or you don't you don't necessarily have to. Everyone's going to be a little different. So you just find what works for you, as you said. And I love those different uh, realistic uh, um, upsides of using apps. I really appreciate that, Mr. Harrow. Thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, next up is uh, Gerilyn. Thanks so much for joining. What do you say for today? Uh, yeah, I enjoy the mm-hmm. session very much. Yeah, mm-hmm. I use apps all the time. I use the banking app. You know, you can deposit checks with your banking app. Yes, you, don't have to you sure in. can. Uh, and you you could transfer funds from one mm-hmm. account to the other to another. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You can do that. That and, and then as far as the social media apps, I'm on TikTok and Instagram every day. <laughs> so I use those apps, and uh-huh. I use the um I use the Wi-Fi apps. I use Xfinity to pay my bill. You yes. know, if you pay your bill on the Xfinity app, they get the money immediately as soon as you put the you know pay the bill then the money is applied to your account so you don't mm-hmm. have to wait for the bank to send the money in so the and, and I use the Amazon app because it has everything when I click on the Amazon app the app knows it's me so they can tell me my past purchases do I want mm-hmm. to order something yeah. again it's so mm-hmm. easy and I use Amazon all the time so that's what I wanted to say so it, it, it the apps have a great impact on my everyday life a great impact thank you so much for sharing Gerald and I love it I use the Xfinity app I love it I can see that there's an outage like you know this week uh, there was some work done in my area so I was able to see that here I didn't have to call I saw there was an outage so if you know, I kind of, you know, knew what to do already. I can look at my bill. I can see what offers they have or their services or the accounts, you know, anything, right? So it's so much easier just to have the app. It may save you a phone call. It may save you a trip to the store, et cetera. You know, um, it, it's very convenient. So thank you so much for uh, sharing, Gerilyn. I'm glad that you use those apps and continue to do so, okay? Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. And uh Thank you, uh, Mr. Harold and Ms. Sherry and Mr. Leon. I appreciate that in your comments in the chat. Thank you, Ms. Vivian, I appreciate that. And our, again, please raise your hand if you would like to share. I love hearing your feedback, et cetera. I see we have Ms. Louise as our last hand for now. Thank you so much. What do you say for today? I said it's very important and I thank you that you brought this up because I even yesterday I made a deposit in the bank because I just can't stand in the line and I use it to pay my mortgage, the bank app. I did my, I have my Verizon. I even have Zelle and Western Union. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. it make a big difference in my life. I don't have to worry about getting up, trying to drive to the bank. I take care mm, of it. I can yeah. only imagine, you know, just anybody, it doesn't matter if you're older, if you're younger, you know, nowadays, like I like my time and having to go to those different stores or places and et cetera, you know, you got to do yeah. what you got to do. Right. But yeah, to make it as easy. I love the apps. I pay my electric, my rent, my et cetera, everything with the app. Mm-hmm. And I love it because all I have to do is do this, this and that. And especially if auto pay set up for your bills, you don't have yeah. to, you know, look or physically hit pay bill each time. I love that. So I can just, you know, do the things that I love to do. 
versus mm-hmm. having to, you know, take some more time to do the same thing. So I love apps. Yeah. Literally, push of a button, you can do a lot mm-hmm. of things. Yeah, when you start off, it's a little skeptical, you know. You keep saying, oh, it's going to be account, and I worry about it. And then my children, grandchildren came and said, oh, stop that foolishness. That's what we do. <laughs> so I just, <laughs> I just went along, and it, it seems fine to me. Yeah, I mean, it's just general internet safety. I mean, when you're, you know, you guys are on the iPad right now, and, I, and you know, for some of the folks that I've talked before, you know, don't, don't be... Don't be afraid because, you know, there there are measures in place that are put to yeah. make sure that you have, you know, everything in secure. It's just general Internet safety. Make sure you don't use the password for every single account. Make sure it's yeah. strong. Make sure you don't share your information with others. Make sure, you know, mm-hmm. like with email, don't share your personal information over email or by phone, yeah. like like things of that nature. So like some general tech safety tips also apply to the iPad and using apps. And mm-hmm. it's just, you know, just making sure you just don't rush and you just double check kind of everything that you do. Each app mm-hmm. is going to be a little different. So it may take some time to get used to a particular app. But once you do, I know it will uh, definitely help out. Yeah. Thank you so mm-hmm. much. Uh, thank you so much for sharing, Miss Louise. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. You too. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any other thoughts or comments before we end for today? Please raise your hand. But again, thank you so much for the uh, chats. Uh, hi, Mr. Leon. Thanks so much for joining and thanks for your chat as well. What do you say for today? I actually it was a question. Uh, one of the first parts mm-hmm. of your letter, how you um, add a picture to your chat. I'm sure we'll actually be talking about Zoom more late at one thirty today. But okay. uh, just real quickly, if you go into the chat next to tap here to chat, like you sent a message, you'll see that plus sign next to tap here to chat. That that way, when you hit that option, make sure you hit allow access to all photos if you haven't done that before. But that way, when you hit the plus, you hit photo, and then you can add any photo from your photos app into the Zoom chat. Does that help out, Mr. Leon? A little bit. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Thank you. Any other thoughts or comments for today? Thank you again for lowering your hand and, and uh, muting yourself. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Any other comments or anything to share for today? All right. Well, again, thank you all so much for joining. I really appreciate that. And uh, it was so much fun to just to create this presentation. And it really made me think, what apps do I utilize on a daily basis to make my life easier? So I just came out of my mind. I thought of the cell phone apps, the streaming apps, the Wi-Fi apps, the banking apps, you know, everyday things that we do. Um, and, you know, especially living in D.C., you know, how where it's you know, busy and, you know, kind of fast paced a little bit, it's good to, you know, try to get the advantage as most as we can, you know, in our daily lives and utilize the devices and technology that we have around us to make our lives easier. Um, again, make sure you check out our trip to Switzerland at 12 o'clock with Lou, our module on Zoom at 1.30. I really enjoyed today's session. I look forward to the uh, sessions this afternoon. And thanks so much for joining. I hope you get to take advantage of some of these apps today. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful rest of your morning. And I'll see you all at 12 o'clock for our trip to Switzerland. Thanks so much. And have a great rest of your morning. Good session, Ms. Bell. Good session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you all soon. Thank you. See you all so much. No problem. Have a blessed weekend. Yes, See have a great weekend. See you all soon. Weekend. Thank you. See you all later. Bye, Alex. <laughs> Thank you.